They say I'm crazy. They say I'm bugging, bugging. the way I'm time sweating your love. So this is a quick live on the monitor setup. And so Digital Buddha, you asked a wonderful question. And the thing is, it is not, this is not a live overlay. Um, it's not a live desk, but I can make it a live desk. And the way to make that a live desk 
would be to take and I would actually have to flip the screen around because I took a snapshot of it to do something else and I don't like what they did with the rotate button but I'll work with it with uh, with um, Ecamm I mean it's not bad but it's just weird for me and so um, let me see here I'll show you what happens here let's get into it and rotate this sucker and if we rotate it it doesn't want to rotate so I really don't understand what the problem is okay I might do a drum battle with Tom Buck and I wanted to play the song it's love with me and Tom playing along and I wanted to know if it's fine to use because of you so Sammy real quick the issue would be if you play what I'm playing they're not going to flag you but if you play the original song you will get flagged so that is the problem all right just so you know if you play what I have you're fine if you play the original it's going to flag you and so um digital Buddha what I did was I took this right here and for some reason it won't let me rotate it, it the rotate is acting weird okay there's the rotate and so the only thing is I would have to remove this because I had a zoom in on this picture and I'll show you what I did Buddha. Um, I just took and had this zoomed in a little bit or something and I had my face in the hole here um, over top of that. So for the overlay. And so I was just sitting in the camera kind of like that. But I'll get right into it. Graham, what's going on, Rich? Um, yeah, so I'm just going to pop in, pop off on here and get this little thingamajig done because I wanted to show um, you're still on the intro screen. Yeah, yeah, I'm still on the intro screen. I was just showing Digital Buddha that, you know, the overlay was this is the overlay that I had. Let me put the overlay on um, screenshot overlay. And I just threw my face inside the camera to get this kind of view here. And so I'm going to take this guy off and. So while you guys can hear me, um, what I want to do is I want to drop in the column. So what version did you use? Okay, so Sammy, because I did this song, I actually... So the mic is going to be in my face because I'm not putting it on the other stand. And I'm doing this live setup to set the camera up on the desk. So if you'll look here, I'm going to switch to these other cameras. Um, let's go right here. No, not this one. Over here. So if you notice, everything is sitting on the desk. I'm going to demonstrate how I put this up here, okay? And so, Sammy, I'm going to connect with you and talk to you about the uh, the track, and I'll send you the one that I play because you won't get flagged on it. Um, the vocals, you can kind of get away with it, but um, I've never got flagged on it, but you will get flagged if you play the original version. So now, right here, I'm going to take these things that are on the desk that we've seen, um, flipping this view around let me get the mic out of the way here's the components on the desk and so um, a couple of things that's unique this stand right here gets a lot of questions people ask about that and here's my little crabby legs okay and the crabby legs is what I use to keep everything down and simple on the desk right here so my monitor here normally I have it where um, I drop this guy down so the monitor of course you can push it down. So if you're sitting at the desk and you're working, you can see and look straight into the monitor. Everything's cool. But you got a Zoom, you have a live or something, and you want to use confidence monitor. And just maybe you don't want to be over here on this guy. Boom. The normal TMP um, 100. And so if you don't want to be on a glide gear, but you want to be straight in, there is a way to do it. I am becoming way more comfortable looking right here and having all of this real estate. And so once again, I'm just going to show the pieces here, um, that we have. And, uh, in my notes, I actually can go to this, uh, this, this crazy piece, which I'm going to go to and in the notes, I actually have the links to everything that's sitting in here. And so I'm just going to copy this and move it over and see if it pastes in this. Oh, it's not going to go into the paste ad comment. Okay. Nonetheless, I will put it in the YouTube column and make sure that, you know, you get that. I'm going to post it with the video later on. So excuse this mic in my way. 
um, because I was really testing something. The way I have it set is for when I have the monitor in front of me. So right now we're just going to be fighting with focus because I literally have this mic right here in my face and I don't feel like adjusting it. But you know what? Since it's the wave and it's real simple, I'm just going to put it right here. Boom. Problem solved. Got it out the way. So let's get right to it. And I'm going to show how this little rig is put together. Um, first things we have is we have this um, this bottom stand here. This bottom stand, I call this the Krabby Legs, okay? So that's in the description. And so Mr. Krabby Legs is put together pretty much like this. Um, this is the Edelchrome Crab Lake, and I really love it, okay? you Listen, that monitor, all right, so Buddha, are you talking about the main monitor on the desk? Because that's what you're talking about, let me know. Um, these legs are awesome. So if you check these legs out right here, don't miss this. Look at this. So this is why I had the mic up like this so that I could get it out the way and still be able to communicate with everybody. All right. So check these legs out. These legs are awesome. The thing I like about it is that you can take and twist these guys up here. Um, you use an Allen wrench to just tighten the joints. They are stiff. Um, you can loosen them and tighten them and you have multiple uses you can do with this now you can take this and put it right on the camera which is good and that way if you're outside you can do this and have like a leg up here you know have something down here um you can put this leg all the way down and extend it out while this one is up on something and it still supports your camera this thing is like a spider or something like that look at this this thing is you can just do a whole bunch with it okay now this is a genius put together i love what they did with it so i normally just take these out to spread them because what i do is i add my a7c which is a camera that i take outside with me this camera goes with me it moves with me it's in the house but then it goes outside um it goes in my bag so it's on and off and i like it as my main camera when i'm doing lives or doing something inside so the good news is I always have this guy over here is stationary, but I always don't like looking this way. And I come to find out that it's only on Sundays with my sermons or certain zooms that I'll use this particular teleprompter sideways. I like the background view like this going into the corner, but I'm very much more comfortable sitting at the front of the desk right here and looking at everything across the screen when I have to do a lot and talk to people and do stuff like that. So once again, let's go back to this, um, this piece here. Now what's going to happen is this guy's going to go right here and we're going to mount everybody right here. And it's going to look like a little crab looking at you. So I'm going to assemble this guy together and show you how I quickly put this together. So the next piece that you really want to check out is this flex tilt head. Move the mic out the way. Flex tilt head, you've seen a lot of these, Neewer has them, but trust me, the cheaper ones aren't that good. The cheaper ones have knobs on it, you gotta turn and twist and it's fragile. This is version two, India Delgado is probably gonna get version three, which if you wanna know the difference, you can see a report on that with her. This is real stiff, I have these stiff right here with the joints because it has to hold the weight of the teleprompter so that it doesn't tilt and fall over. But that is nothing but an Allen wrench stuck in a hole and you can tighten it and have your, your Z lift. And so the thing that's beautiful about it, you can put the camera on there, stand it up. It is actually like a standalone as well. So you can have it do as a standalone with the camera on there. And long as your lens weight is not too far out front and you balance it back on the Z, you can have it balance itself and this can just sit by itself. I prefer to take it and put it on top of here. So let's get there. This guy literally, when you put this down, it literally just spins on here. And this is the thing about Edelchrome products. You take this guy and you just do this and you turn it long enough and then it'll, it'll stop you. And then you just pull it back. It's on, done, done deal. Lift this guy up right here, just a smidgen. And you want to get to this. I actually have a piece coming that's a quick on and quick off. You take him and you're going to put him on here. All right, we are 90% there. Look at this. So, let me move this desk view out the way. 
your camera now sits on this crabby piece right here. You can also take the camera and you can lift him up and get him to stand up here like this. You get him at his angles. You can twist and turn this any which way that you want to go. It's beautiful. Okay. Now you sit this guy back down and you, uh, you cradle it. Now, the other thing is, let's not forget this people. We already know this. I have a little trick that I do that's a little bit different because this is my on and off camera. I don't have it super hard wired with the dummy battery power. The dummy battery is going to go inside of here. But what I do is I hook it up to something else that's going to be in the column. All of these NP batteries that people have sitting around make use out of them. So you get you a small rig uh, plate. I do not recommend any more um, messing with the um, blind spot the pieces on there are plastic and it can actually fall apart a little bit and it gets the tabs get a little tricky. It's much safer to go with small rig. They have a better track record. You put your battery on here. This sucker is going to give you a long time of juice. Now, the sad reality is I had this battery in there all day. Green light is flashing, which means the camera probably won't come on. So pause. <laughs> Let me get a better battery. I got a ton of them in the drawer. Hang on. always have an extra one handy so battery goes right on here got it full green there we go and we're going to plug the dummy battery into the side of here it's going to go in so we'll get juice plug this dummy battery right into the side hey you what are you doing okay let's go down and situate ourselves all right and we're going to get our dummy battery right in here. Okay, lift. All right, there we go. She goes in, and the camera's going to come on, and we're just about set, okay? Now, what we're doing next is we're going to hook to our HDMI. Most people already know that. What I have on this camera so that your wires don't get messed up, I think Diana Gladney suggests a, a L bracket or something or 90 degree. I take this guy and put it through this little loophole on top here so let me go in just so you can see this a little bit better right here i have a clip here so that the wire goes around here and takes the any kind of tension off of it so we can plug it right into the side okay so let's go to plugging this up over here almost done here she goes in the side and we're going to go right in here boom and over here, we take the tension off. We turn our screen over here, and we are pretty much set there. Now, this guy comes down here. We point him. And now for the best part, the des view. Des view's time is to come in. And here's what we do with the des view. Once again, I'll give you a close-up shot. This is a Lilliput A7. You can argue with me on it, but the A7 is the optimal screen size for the Desu T3, okay, or anything equivalent to the A7. I totally recommend, once again, the A7 is simple. The reason why is because it's 1,000 nits. So it's one of the brightest. It's brighter than even the bigger sizes of Lilliputs. This is basically the one Lilliput that has 1,000 nits on it. The other ones are 500 which is good because if it's too bright, you're going to end up with an issue. If the if your confidence monitor, listen, people, if your confidence monitor is too bright, oh, geez, okay, there, was, there we go. If it's too bright, it's going to put too much light back up on your teleprompter, and you actually don't want that to happen. Sorry about the autofocus with this. But nonetheless, we have our T3 here. And we have R7. Now notice the size of it on the sides and how it sits and how it's optimized in here. And again, I said it's bright. And so Keith Pelzer did his own little rig on this. And my rig, I actually took all of the components off of it. And I just took and put in, you see that hole right there? That hole right there, I just took a pin and put it right through um, the back here, one of your little cameras, I think it's a five eighths or something. You put it right through here and you connect it and you leave it. So now that you leave it, you have your teleprompter here. The ring 
is a ring that goes right on top of this right here. It's in the package. You get it to fit your lens. Once you do that, you take this guy and you drop this baby right on. No problem. And there is your crabby setup, okay? And so I hope that you like this. Um, I hope that was something that uh, interests you in some way, shape, or form. Did you go to sleep? No, you didn't go to sleep. Come on. There she goes. All right, this baby's moving. So right now we have our whole confidence monitor set up. And then here's the, here's the better part. I have to show you this on the other camera once again. Now, over here, I'm going to show you what's going on with the plug-in. A lot of people don't know these little hacks. To get battery power, now if you use an Andesini, you can actually plug power into the monitor from the monitor straight to the camera. One power cord goes up. I have it on my other setup over there. One, one cord plugs into here. The dummy battery goes into here, and you have one cord that comes up, throws juice to both of these guys. Done deal. Okay, cut it on with an Alexa uh, power uh, power plug, and everybody's good. For me, on this desk, what I have is, here's the power. This is on automatic, too. Plug this guy in here. You get juice. And this is off of a splitter. And so for those of you who have the M1 uh, Max, and you only can use two screens, and you didn't do a hack to have a multiple amount of screens, my two teleprompters, they're doing the same outputs because they're teleprompters. So they're seeing the same thing. I just need to see what Ecamm is outputting. So in the teleprompter over here and the teleprompter right here, there's a splitter in the back to give both of these some video to what's coming out of the computer. And so right now, as you see, I have my confidence monitor all plugged up and I'm good to go. Now look at this baby. She sits right here on the desk. Now, Here's the best part right here. I'm not David Blackman, but I got a little something going on. With these monitors, those people who have the LGs, you take the monitor and you move it straight up. So if you are hiding something behind here and you're like, oh, I can't see around the camera. No problem. What Guan? Boom. Monitor up. You got a better shot. Let me give you some jib. See this right here? Now the monitor's up in the air. I can move it up a little bit more. And so now I got all my real estate over top of the teleprompter. And then, voila, I'm in here. Check this out. See? And this is Keith Pels is one of his favorite shots right now. This is one of my favorites. I, I really like this shot right here for certain things. And my other stand comes in tomorrow. So I'll have the microphone and the mic will sit here like this. Okay, and so I'm really having fun using this stand. Devin, what's going on, bro? I'm really having fun using this right now, and now I can actually change it and move it because I'm done demonstrating what was going on with the Desview. So Devin, Desview, um, everybody, if you, if you have any questions about the Desview T3, let me know. I'm um, positioning it you can really do a lot. If you're gonna put your camera over to the left or the right side, I do definitely recommend the Glide Gear, but also if you have a camera, and I wanna say this specifically for people who are bragging about the ZV E10, the ZV E10, whatever the, the new camera is. Um, it makes no sense to brag on the camera and you're gonna put it on a Glide Gear and have to curtain it up and put the stuff over it and screw it down in the back and do all of this stuff. Nah, how about just a quick release, throw it on a teleprompter such as this? I'm telling y'all, it's one of the best. Now notice, I'm looking in this Glide Gear and I love it. So I can sit here all day and do this on a talk show. But at the same time, I do really favor doing this. It's, oh my gosh, it's nothing like this. And I got all my stuff up top. Okay, let me get my keyboard and stuff set back up. People, what's going on in the column? I am here and I will take a little bit of time. Are there any questions? I see Sammy says, all of your shots are amazing. Sammy, I thank you. I much appreciate you. Um, and Devin said, I agree <laughs> as Sammy Superstar. Hey, look, I've been trying to work on these shots for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I've been sitting here working on these. And um, I think at times we kind of get into that um, that feel of, are we doing too much? But I don't think so. And so what are your thoughts? Those of you who watch, it's only a handful of y'all. But what are your thoughts on 
a bunch of cameras? Are we going in a direction where multicam setup is kind of like the end thing? Or do you feel as though it's still overkill? I'm just curious. So I know I probably bored some of y'all, but anyway, do you think that multiple cameras are a direction that we're going in or is it overkill? Cause I'm still feeling creative with multicam setups. I'm, I'm actually loving it. Um, and at the beginning I thought it was like the, I'm, I'm just getting cameras, but I use every angle. Okay, I, I have a reason to use every angle and I'm and I'm loving the angle. So multicam is nice, but I'm using one camera now. No, I, I totally got you, Sammy. Oh, why'd I put it on the screen when I got it up on the screen? So Sammy says multicam is nice, but I'm using one camera now. I normally will just sit on this one camera, but the more I start doing um like reviews or talking about a product, and here's what I like. The other day, I was watching um, Gerald Undone, and he was on and he was talking about, you know, how he wasn't calling unboxing corny, but it's kind of like he was on there with somebody else and they were talking about unboxing is still a thing that people like. However, just unboxing starts to get dead. And so what I'm in the approach of doing is, OK, we're going to unbox it, but we're going to do something with it. Okay, um, Devin, what do we have here? You said, I got the T3 after your live about uh, a couple weeks ago, and I'm still learning how to use it. Okay, Devin, let me know what kind of help you need with that T3. I'll be interested to know um, in how you use it, how you set it up, um, and what monitor you have for it. So you don't have to do what I did with the A7 Lily put, but I, I highly recommend it because I use this and I see how it works. And I did my modification for a specific reason. Um, Jermaine, man, I think two is good for me. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to fake the shots using Ecamm. Hey, look, brother, it ain't faking it. It's real shots. You know what I'm saying? If you got five different angles, then you got 10 shots you can come up with. All right. Um, <laughs> that's what I've been doing uh, with my one camera where it looks like multiple cameras. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, it's not overkill. If you can pull off nicely, it's all good. Got you. Good and yourself. Okay, got you. Okay, I'm doing interviews. Um, but if I do in-person interviews, I will use more than two cameras. Exactly, Sammy. Great point. Gregarious, what's going on, my brother? Um, so that's that's very important. So the reason why I started with multiple cams was, again, because of talking live um i played around with this slider moving while i'm talking and one of my cousins was like yo you messing with my vertigo like you jacking me up and i'm like okay i'm sorry so that was a quick little inner joke if you're an interview person you you're not really going to need a bunch of cameras like i i promise i promise you especially if you're not out in the field you don't need a whole bunch of stuff there um but if you are a narrator um, if you are a product reviewer or something like that, and this is this is a shout out and a plug to Ecamm. What I like about the power of Ecamm, how it records, if you think about your pre-production, we're moving in such a way that you can actually set up your studio where it is a production studio so that when you're live, Tony, what's going on? So that when you're live, you can actually, you know, have people feel it with you, take questions. Um, it gets more realistic on how it's set up. Now, I think that reviews, as um, Gerald and Dunn was saying, reviews are great if you're going to do a whole production video and uh, do post on it and all of that stuff and present it. Got it. But then there are times when doing it live is kind of like now, a lot of people who were just throwing up videos, a lot of your YouTube people, they're just throwing up a bunch of videos now you notice they're starting to do Q and A. Hey, let's go live. And I was actually on a forum where you know there was someone that has over like thirty thousand followers, um, subscribers, and they're looking at me and somebody else like, "Oh, y'all setups are dope." You know why? Because they do a ton of videos, but live was like, "Oh, I just go live with my phone," you know, because they weren't thinking like into that system of 
the ecam live production and how you could literally set it up to look like a live production studio so think of a cooking channel um cooking it's even though they do a show there's a live element to it where you want to see them cooking it you got what i'm saying and so um yes they cut it in commercials and stuff when you watch it but it's still like a live performance so even when you watch certain shows they say oh this was taped in front of a live audience that means that the actual recording had people that were engaged in it as you were doing it and so for me i like saying okay hey if i'm going to sit here and i'm going to put together uh this stand here i want to unbox it while you're live so you can see it you know i mean today i don't have no music playing but you can put a little music in the background and do it but that's the purpose of setting up your camera so that you can do that now that's not for everybody but it actually uh does help did my cameras do some switching around i think they did they got a little funky okay let me go back to this guy <laughs> every now and again let me see what happens here this should pull it in closer nope see uh yeah so what happens is sidebar if you mess around with multiple cameras with elgato and ecamm the ease and the ease they got issues um if you restart your computer or shut it down and bring it back up, you might have to do another restart to get everybody back where they should be at. Because CamLink 1 will think it's CamLink 2, CamLink 2 will think it's CamLink 4, 5, and so on. And so then you'll end up having some kind of weird little problem. Um, again, the easy fix, just restart the computer. It comes back up and everything is on. So, uh, yeah, I did switch something. I can't live without Ecamm. I have it on a lot of on a lot of computer absolutely so i don't have a confidence monitor um but the intention is to use my old ipad as a teleprompter hey devin i'm going to do a dot rock i have the sony zv1 but not a stand that is secure enough to hold both camera and ipad so you ready for this i'm gonna do a dot rock real quick devin devin just do it get an a7 lily put they're only like a buck 50 okay it's worth getting a monitor and and hear, hear me again not unless you go down to india delgado street um or maybe even felicia talk to them and find out exactly what they're doing i, I back them 100 percent. and there's a few other ipad users but like in the words of sean dot rock it it's kind of almost like the think of apple products you got to make sure that you plug the thing up and it's on okay you got to make sure you charge it you know if it's running it'll you know it'll shut down then you got to do updates and stuff these monitors i have you don't do no updates you don't have to reinstall nothing you don't have to do nothing to it it's not going to be no messages coming across nothing like that the whole thing is you get the monitor and it does exactly what it's supposed to do it's a monitor you don't need a sidebar program to flip the screen you don't have to update the sidebar program that flips the, the screen for you or nothing like that um that's if you want confidence monitor if you just want to flip words around and read them then you don't need anything but an ipad you're good to go you can use your phone but if you want to do something like this confidence monitor like right now i'm using a confidence monitor if i switch to here i'm using confidence monitor I love it. I mean, it's it's right there. When I tell Alexa to turn these jokers off, she turns them off. I tell her to turn them on, she turns them on. I don't have to go over to an iPad and hit it and then, you know, put it on the output to from the computer because, again, now you're putting language wirelessly from the computer. And if you hardwire it, then you're eating up USB space to do it rather than just throw a HDMI out to a splitter and throw it on your confidence monitor, you're done and you're putting out high quality and you don't have to worry about lag or nothing like that because it's not trying to read some bluetooth or through the usb port or something weird like that that's just the keith pelzer take on it i've tried it already um again it's kind of like android iphone you you can't really argue it with people too much because there are people that have never had an app where they had it and they went back to android and they're absolutely fine I back them 100%. I just joke with people. There are people that use Canons and they're the bomb, okay? And they stay with their Canons. They don't need to switch to Sony. But if you're kind of in the middle and you're not sure, I don't like to send people down the street of, 
well, I'm going to just use one of the 18 iPads that I have. And then after a while, it's always something. Well, I, I tried to link it with the program and it ain't do it. And, and something, something. And, 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 and again, what most people don't talk about, India is a tech head. So India Delgado, a few other people I know, they are tech heads. So they can sit there and figure, I'm a tech head. So I'm going to figure stuff out. But for my wife, a few other people, Devin, I'm, I'm just trying to tell you, for my wife, I can't have her use the iPad because when something goes wrong or that program that makes it flip and all of this and that stuff, do something, she's pissed off. So it's easy for me to take this little setup that I got right here. I take this little thing right here. Let me zoom in so you see. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I'm not going to reset this stuff. All right, let me go over to... to <laughs> Hold on one second, man. Where's my other button at? Let me, this guy works better. Okay, so... I just take this guy and I just set him right here. Just throw him right on here. It's all together. No iPad, no nothing in there. It's the, the T3, okay? It's the T3 and it's the A7 sitting right on there. We're good to go. That's it. Nothing else to do. When the camera's needed, you just pop it off, take the camera, take it off the stand. You're good to go. When it's not, when it is um, ready to put back on here, you just slap this sucker right on here. You got your confidence monitor. You are ready to go. It's a very useful piece. And so uh, don't forget that. It's I, I just love saying that because it actually comes out um, cheaper in the long run. And for the price of the T3 and getting this, it's just, it's actually comes out a little bit cheaper. And it's more versatile. It's more useful. You can also take... And just put this, if you have multiple cameras, Sammy, you can take this and put it on your other cameras, okay? So it's it's real simple to do that. Um, again, and then the queen is here. If you are like a Diana Gladney, you don't give a rat's behind about confidence monitor anything because you are a pro and you don't need those suckers. <laughs> What's going on, D? Um, I was just giving some perspectives out here. But yeah, um, again, this is what I love about our community of people because you get somebody like, uh, um, if you were to just take David Blackman, Diana, myself, Doc, a few other people, everybody's different and we have our different ways of doing stuff. Uh, again, somebody like Jermaine, shout out to Jermaine, us producer guys, we really go in with the audio on the mic. So we want compressor, we want this, that, and third plugins and, you know, we go extra. Um, I like Diana. She's unbiased. And like she said, we detected someone that is like, this is a great mic that'll work for somebody. I really love this thing for me now, nah. but for my wife, for other people that I know, I'm prescribing, yo, you want to get this joint. Um, India Delgado, she actually has one of these, but she likes her Lewitt and it, it sounds fine with her. She's figured it out. So Sammy, you don't either. I like it. <laughs> Everyone stand and Bishop Diana Gladney has entered the building. Exactly. Devin, I think that's how we do. She has entered the building. <laughs> Sammy, you said I don't use any confidence monitor or a teleprompter. You don't need it, Sammy. Okay. Once again. And so um, I got to cut this piece of the video out so that, yeah, so I can repurpose it. But I'm, I'm done on this right here. Are there any questions that there is? Uh, no other words, any closing remarks from anyone in the house. Uh, Keep those who will be signing off because <laughs> I got to get up in the morning and ride the bike. OK, and so uh, let me see. Devin, you are hilarious. Yes, Devin is hilarious. OK, um, but there it is, people. Uh, once again, there is your confidence monitor and we are all done. Where is my do these other cameras? OK, this this guy works. It does want to work. Um. So there's my Krabby setup right here. I call it the Krabby setup. And um, it's a, a very useful multi-purpose stand. Again, if you have these NPs laying around, you can throw the dummy battery on these if you don't want to plug everything up all the time or if you want to get uh, a little remote with it and have extra juice. Because it's small rig, you can attach this right on the side and put it on the, the little cheese hole on there and keep going. So... I do. What's your go-to recommended teleprompter for beginners? I get asked about them a lot. Um, yeah, so Diana was crazy as 
the reason why I jumped on here to do this real quick was to show how easy you're absolutely right, Tony. It is the it is the Edelchrome Flex Tilt Head 2. Now the Flex Tilt Head 3 is out. And so because it's out, I it's $99, but this one that I have is $79. I really don't understand what the difference actually could be. They said it's actually easier to use and you can use it with one hand. I don't know how much of that is true. I'm actually going to get one um, because with the teleprompter on there, you want to tighten the uh, the joints on there to make sure uh, you want the joints tightened so that the weight of this doesn't, you know, make it fall back forward. Um, it sticks very good in here. If I wanted to lift this up, I could lift it up and it'll just hold this on the front because the joints are tight enough um, with the flex tilt head. Again, the stand one is an invaluable piece. I love it. Um, you can even prop this sucker up. Look, and I'm going to get to your thing, Diana. You can prop this up and even have a, you know, change, change your shot up just a little bit. Um, and have this part raised. So let me raise this guy, um, this little crabby thing. Okay, see, so let me raise the back legs like this. And there we have it, okay? Let me show you here. You can raise it up like that. Um, it's it's actually, it's one of the dopest little stands because I was a Joby guy, but I didn't like the three legs and trying to move it. And then if you put it a certain way, the three legs watch the three legs like this you know you get that collapse like that so with these four they sit out this way and you can distribute the weight a lot better with the flex tilt head on there you get to you know move and tilt and turn this so anything that you want to do where you just want to put something on a stand this kit is going to hold it together if i only had to get one i would actually get this guy because you can still um, kind of jack it up and put a bald head on there um, if you're not doing too much up and down adjustments. But both of them are better if you, um, to me. I like both of them. And so that's the, um, that's that, my crabby stand, I call it. Now back to, get over here. Oh, I hit the button on there. Let's take that off. Focus is in. Okay. So Diana, I've been lately, I've, I used to recommend the Glide Gear but it was starting to get too complicated for people. And then there's two types of people. There's the, I want a confidence monitor because I know how to work this stuff. And then for other people, I just want a teleprompter to read stuff. And, you know, I'm just like, get a parrot. But then they're like, no, 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 I heard the parrot's whack and I want to, you know, step it up. And I'm like, okay, if we want to go there, I definitely recommend the Desview. And so my thing was the Desview T3 because another thing, um, I got to say, so on the other side of the room, the crazy thing is this, uh, come here, you on the, okay. On the other side of the room, all the way over here, that's a, it's kind of hard to see. And, it, and that's, that's an angle I don't have that going it. I need another camera. <laughs> Let me see if I can do this. Okay. I need another camera. All right, junkie, watch this. Okay. So over here. Okay, that is the Desview up top there. That is the Desview T2. And the thing is, I can just take that guy off. So when I had an extra person over here um, in the room, so I'm sitting here and I had to do something with three people. All I did was I took this teleprompter, sat it here, this teleprompter here, and on this camera here, I just took the lens off of that one and just popped it on here and took the HDMI core output, put it on here, and three people have t uh, confidence monitors. So when you watch them on the screen, everybody's looking at each other in the teleprompter. And so you got three people in the same room and they're all looking right in the teleprompter. So the versatility of it is is the major piece to me. That's the that's the that's my argument. The versatility of it is my argument, because what I've come to realize, why did you guys shut off? Don't do that. The, the thing I've come to realize is that we all jumped out and got the, the, the Glide Gear, TMP, right? And we got it. But here's what I realized in my own experience. I don't care how big of a monitor, whether you put the iPad under or whatever, 
I don't know anybody that can really read on the teleprompter everything. We're still looking at the screen. <laughs> That's just bottom line. That's just my opinion. We're still looking at the screen. And so that became the reason why I actually did this. Now, when I, if I'm using this, this camera right here and I'm on here, okay, I normally put most of my stuff to this side of the screen so I don't have to look too far all the way over here you know to go away but it is natural diana you do a great job at it because it's kind of like that's part of live i'm reading the comments so you're like this you're talking to people and you're like okay so uh let's see what so-and-so said that's just natural it's not a big deal so to me after a while we thought we were using the teleprompter to put everything on it so we can just be like this the whole time okay and you said and I know we said that sounds creepy. So the closest I get to that is this right here. You ready? This is the closest I get to it with the, the Ecamm beta. So now I can read the comments and I can stay looking at you guys because I'm looking in the confidence monitor. Once again, check it out. So um, right here, let's go. Why is this stream deck wants to move a little bit slow? Anybody experience a slow stream deck sometimes? Yeah, I just got to probably update something. So she's she's like, <laughs> that means it's time to go night night. Okay, the screen's about to switch right about now. Switch to it. Okay, so here I am, and I'm looking into here. <laughs> so when I put this screen up, <laughs> looking at the camera is normal. Okay, so, <laughs> so, so here I am looking into the confidence monitor right here. I'm looking into it right here. And so I made this little scene with the Ecamm beta so that I can look right into the monitor. And actually, I have great eyesight so I can read the comments and I can do this here. But it's really not normal to be able to see everything you need to see in the confidence monitor. So eventually, you're going to have to use the screen anyway. So shout outs to everybody who was thinking about getting one big widescreen monitor because you like Felicia and Irvin Fryer had the two monitors over here and a teleprompter in the middle. It's okay to have the teleprompter in the middle and it's okay to be looking at people um, while you're looking in your front camera and then just look over here or look over there and find something. It's no problem. It's just for me, I like to have this option to put the little crabby guy um, down on his legs and then uh, look into the monitor and have everything in front of me this way. That's all it is. And so uh, I'm done for tonight. So again, are there any questions, comments? So let me flatten these guys, these legs back out, put Mr. Crab Guy back down, lower him. Look at this. It's like an LA kit, drop kit on the car, like hydraulics. <laughs> Rolling down the street, smoking in those, sipping on gin and juice, lay back with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. <laughs> Y'all be good. I'm mic'd up tonight. I'm weirdo. I will talk to everybody later on this week. Again, I'm here. I'll wait for three more seconds. Are there any other questions, any comments? If not, I am going to get up out of here and go to bed like I got to go to bed. All right. Mosiva said, as for me and my house, we will use a teleprompter. Listen, and you know what's crazy, Diana? I don't actually need the teleprompter. I just like using it because I like looking at myself on the screen. <laughs> I think some of us actually use it to look at ourselves. Not for confidence, but, um, you know, just to have fun. Hey. So whenever you say Krabby, I think SpongeBob. Exactly. I was going to do a SpongeBob um, thumbnail. That's what I was going to do, Camera Junkie. I was going to do some kind of SpongeBob thing, but I was just like, I don't know. So you see my little light? So that little halo, well, it's not like a halo, but it's kind of like a, a horizon thing. I like that. Y'all like that? I just put that up today. And um, I had to like loop it because it it doesn't bend too much that one doesn't and then that was it i just wanted to loop it because that i didn't like that dark spot over there in the corner so i got to figure out that side over there and figure something out to do with it so next live i'm probably going to do um 
I probably have this stand is probably gonna be gone because my other one came in. So now I have my arm on both sides of the desk. And so I'm probably gonna have to give up Tina's mic. So I'm gonna find my own color of the MV7, M7V, MV7 type of thingamajig. Yes. And so got my little lights there. I think I'm good to go and I can get back into the groove where I used to be at. So convos will be back like I used to be and I got some talking to do, but I'll separate it from the tech so that if we want to talk tech and we all gassed up, let's get gassed up. I look forward to doing something with Diana where we can be honest about the stuff that we got that we don't actually even use. We bragged about it. We talked about it. We were happy to get it. And we don't even plug the darn thing up. We don't even use it. And so shout out to Keith Pelzer with that uh, monopod thingamajig. Big waste of money. <laughs> I've gotten some great shots with it, but I barely even use the darn thing. I literally have to make a reason to use that thing. And so what I want to help people out with is if you're going to spend your money, spend it on something that you're actually going to use. It's better to spend more money in what you do rather than to spend money to get something everybody else is getting and then you're stuck and you don't even use it. it. Makes no sense, okay? Makes no sense. So feel free to hit me up and ask me what you want me to show you. If you want me to show you my lights, how I put them up, how I got something in the church sign back there, how I rigged it up, how I light up my room, I'll be here for you, okay? Someone asked me the other day about the lights. She said, oh, I love these lights in your room. I'm like, they're all Godox, but I'm not going to steer in the wrong direction. Look at what Doc was doing. And Doc actually has a light. The difference between my light and his light is pretty much you can cut these things on and off without the remote. And so for these, you got to do a whole bunch of other things. So I'm done with the teleprompters. I think I will not talk about teleprompters again unless I'm asked to or unless somebody asks me a question. But if the information has helped you on today, um, just let me know. Encourage me as I encourage you. People, good night. And we'll switch it up and holler at each other later on. This thing will be out of the way after tonight. <laughs> Holler. They say I'm crazy. crazy. The way you got me open, baby. Mm. They say I'm bugging. bugging. The way I'm time sweating, your love. Sammy, I got you tomorrow. We'll talk. I'll inbox you this. Welcome, Devin. Camera junkie, hug that boy for me. Good night, Miss D. I love you, girl. They say I'm